Hello and welcome. So the first thing we'll do is bring these courses on to our database rather than keeping them local like we have them now. Right now in our database we just have users and we're also going to have courses. So we have a sample script here. If you do not have this sample script inside of your app right now, just go to the repository, go to after lesson 28, and you'll find that sample script. Just paste it in to the main folder. Now inside of the sample script, you will find the sample data, a lot of it repeating, which is just fine for what we're doing. And here's our upload sample, and it calls itself in the script. So now let's run it. All we have to do is const upload sample equals require and then dot slash we get that sample script I'm already running over here so all I need to do is save if you're not running you're going to have to yarn run dev to get this running we only want to save once though if you save over and over again it will upload this over and over again so one save and everything will print out here and then we can go over to our compass and refresh the entire collections and here we have our courses and we have four of them perfect that's what we wanted grab this right away and get rid of it i'm just going to comment it out for now but we have something to work with now we can work from the database rather than our dummy data a minor problem is we're not going to go to nuts making sure the photos show up because we're about to change the photos right after we get through payments to be hosted on the internet rather than locally so i would like to wait for that change uh, before we get the photos working again and it will in no way interfere with us getting through the payment section of of this course while we're building this app. And we did quite a bit on the back end, and that means we have to go to the front end, SRC, find our way into components, and head to checkout. Stripe Pay is the file we're looking for, and this is where we'll do our work. We're going to change all of this here, uh, this try catch, everything that we're doing to hit our database. We're going to bring that into Redux. We can get a little more used to Redux today. We also want to be able to change the, right here, if we go to the cart, we want to be able to change it from use saved card to save card. So I think we should do that first uh, so we can actually see some of our code in action. We've been working so hard without any payoff. So let's do this first, get this switch going on so we could go from use save card to save card. The other thing we need to do is we don't need the name anymore. So I'm just going to remove that uh, completely. So this div with name on card, just go ahead and get rid of it. And let's take a look now. All right, great. That works just fine for me. Let's set up some hooks. We have a name on card. We don't really need that anymore. So let's set up a different one. We'll have a const called save card, comma to set save card. Set that equal to use state. And it'll start as false. Now we're going to do, oh, I wrote cave card. It's a typo we don't want. We're going to do a very similar thing again. Uh, so instead of save card, set save card, we'll have use saved card. So this is when we do have saved cards and set use saved card. And that will start as false as well. Now, we said we also need the cart uh, in order to pass that to the back end and make an order. Uh, so let's add cart right here. This is from the use selector state.cart reducer. We're not only going to have the total, we'll have the entire cart brought in. And time to work on that functionality with save card and use saved card. So I'll do that right under here. Maybe, how about we'll get rid of the name and card? We don't need that anymore. And we'll call this classes. And we're going to define two different classes, const save card class. 
Now, this isn't a class as you would think as a class in JavaScript. I just want to use this as a variable. So save card class is going to depend on save card. Now, if save card is true, we're going to use our radio and our radio dash fill. So we made both of those and we know what they do. And we also have radio if it's not true. The same thing happens one more time after this. And that goes for use saved card. And right here as well, use saved card. So that's how we know if it's full or not full, but we're going to need to update the state in order to deal with this save card and use saved card. Oh, I'm sorry, we have to write class after that. Okay, so let's start working on the function next. So we'll have a const called save card click. And a fat arrow function there. So if there is no save card, set use saved card to false. Okay. Set save card the opposite of save card. And you want to do it this way because there's no telling if after, you, like say if you did this opposite, when you do update the state, it might go ahead and hit your next line of code before the state is updated. You do not want that. So you want to work off of the state that's already there before the update and then change your state. Now let's do the next function, which is const display cards click. And the reason we're calling it that is the names start to get confusing. There's so many names that are so similar. And what happens when we click on this use saved card button, we're going to have a display of the saved cards for you to choose from. So this will be the display cards click. Now what we'll say is basically the opposite. If use saved card, set save card to false, set use saved card, the opposite of use saved card. Okay, we have that hooked up and name on card is not defined. I didn't take that out of somewhere, 5636. 56, oh yep, name on card doesn't exist. We'll get rid of that and we'll uh, swap it out for cart. Cool, we got that fixed. Now we want to grab this save card and display cards, click and use them down here. Now here we are in the radio. I'll do the save card first. So here I'll write on click equals and do the work right here. And we're just going to paste that in and call it. And we're going to do the same thing one more time, just with the other function up here. And that was display cards click, and we're set up for those two. The other thing we're going to need to do is bring the classes in. So we have the save card class. We need to bring that in for save card, which is right here. So instead of radio, save card class and put curly braces around it and the other one which was you saved card class we'll do that one more time right here the radio radio fill and let's see if everything we did there is working okay neither of them are highlighted now you saved card and why isn't that working I'm going to guess hmm um, let's let's try a double double dash here. That might be it. Okay, that was it. We need to do the double dash. So the functionality was working, and they do shut each other off too, which is great. Okay, so we have that working. We know what's going on with that now. 
So let's now move this functionality here. We keep the submit token where it is. We want it there. But the handle submit, it's going to be a different type of function. It's going to kind of go through the different submits that can happen according to if you save card is pressed and so on. So we want to take all the logic that's in here, this call to our API, and we want to put it inside of our Redux. So let's bring it into Redux, copy all of it, get it out of here and down to Redux. In Redux, we'll go to Actions and we're about to make a new action uh, file. So Stripe Actions.js. And I'm just going to paste in that info down here and get started up here. So Import. Let's get set alert in here. I'm sure we'll need it. From dot slash oops, dot slash alert actions. We need the API, so let's import API from that's up two into the utils API. Then we'll import charge underscore complete and we haven't done this yet we haven't made it but from dot dot slash types let's make that real quick charge complete it's supposed to be in types right over here so I'll grab this paste it down and we made charge complete okay so that is set up let's export const single charge so this is the one we made already. This is our single charge. Uh, it's token first, and then it's total. Then it's a description. We'll point to an async dispatch. And then to the function itself. And we could just go ahead and get this try inside of that function, the whole try catch. And we're pretty much good to go, except for my typo right here. Let's set up that type now. So after we get the result, when we get the uh, good result here, we will dispatch. And all we'll dispatch is a type, and it'll be charge complete. Now, the, uh, there's going to be no stripe reducer, at least I can't think of a reason to have one just yet. So what we want to do when we get a charge complete, we actually want to hit the cart reducer because we want to get rid of the items that are in the cart right now. So inside of cart reducer, uh, next to update cart, we'll put charge complete. Under that case, we'll write a new case, and this case will be called charge complete. We will return initial state. Okay, initial state of course is an empty card and a total of zero. So after they pay for their stuff, their card empties out and that's when it'll actually go to our, well, that'll be in users. It'll go into our orders array when we finally start populating that. But I know you're just like me and you want to see all this work we did in action. So we need to go back to Stripe Actions and make a, a new export. Okay, so I'm just going to do it under here. I'm copying and pasting because so much of it is going to be almost exactly the same. We need to add cart here. I don't want to forget that. Now, save card and charge. Okay, that's a different name there, save card and charge, and we have that same name on the back end. So that's what we're trying to get to here. We have our token, total description, cart. We have our options should be the same. Our body should be the same with cart added there. Perfect. I added cart here? No, I did not. Let me put cart here real quick. We have our URL. That can't go here. I know we named it save card and charge. So that's what we're going to hit with our post request, with our URL, our body, and our options. And when we're done with it, charge complete, we'll reset our cart again. And I think we're pretty much good with our Redux. Redux is hopefully getting a little bit simpler now that we've done it several times. Now we need to head back to Stripe Pay. 
and this is really the end of it here. We just have to finish up this stripe pay. So everything we had in this try catch, I'm just going to get rid of. I don't need it anymore. Now we have if there's no token, we want to dispatch this alert. Next if, if there's no save card. So if save card is false, what do we want to do? We want to dispatch single charge. And this is going to auto import for me. I will show you in a moment where it comes from. Single charge. Inside of a single charge, we have to pass it what it needs. A token, a total, a description, and a cart. Okay, and that one's ready to go. After that, return because you want it to stop after it does this. Now one more if. If save card. So if save card is true, what are we going to do? We're going to dispatch yet a, another action called save and oh save card and charge. There it is. And inside of there, we're going to pass the same stuff. Just grab that and paste it in. And we have that. After that same story, return. Okay, so now when we handle a, oh, we have a problem here. I'm trying to import something. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. All right, so we will do this together. It actually imported my save card in charge from my Stripe controller way outside of the project. We'll import this properly here. So up, I think two should get us to Redux. Then we need to get to Actions, and we need to get to Stripe Actions. I seem to have yet another error. Let me see where this is. Uh, this is in Stripe Actions. Let's head back over there and fix this one on line six. Okay. Export const single charge. And what they're saying is the identifier is already, okay, <laughs> this auto imported. Sometimes that auto importer can get you. Uh, so if you don't have it, you might, uh, you might be a little lucky. Let's see if that fixed it. Yes, we are back up and running. All right, back to Stripe pay. Just want to look that over real quick. Okay, it looks like everything we want is in, and we can give this a shot. We could actually try all the stuff we hooked up, and uh, man, if it works the first time, I'm going to be pumped. Uh, let's give it. A, let's give it a go. Uh, like I said, the card number you can use all four twos. There's more on their website, by the way, if you want uh, different card numbers to try out. And we're going to click saved card. Get that going. I'm going to bring up the uh, console here, click pay and see what happens. We don't seem to have gotten anything back from the back end. Let's see where our mistake is, or at least my mistake. Uh, running on port 5000. Okay, there's a type error. Can't read property create of undefined. Let's take a look at that in save card and charge on the back end. That'll be up on top in controllers in Stripe controller. Save card and charge, and it's having a problem with property create. Stripe.customer.create. Oh, I see. Okay, um, it's customers. That is a small typo, but a big mistake. It definitely won't work on customer. I shouldn't let customer inside of here. That's a bad idea. Let's have customer there. Let customer here. Save that up and let's give it a go now. So back to the logo. I'll add two things to the cart. Go to the cart. Put in the four twos. And save card. Make sure that's clicked and then hit pay. There we are, we've made our payment and we've saved that card. We're going to be able to prove that we saved that card in just a bit and we can actually look at something cool here now. Um, I did do this a few times while I was kind of trying to make it work so we might have more than one order but that's just okay. Uh, so we have the courses owned came out improperly. We have to fix that. The orders came out perfect. And we don't have any courses owned, but we need to work that out. And we will do that in the next lesson. So follow me over there. We'll finish up those courses and start moving up to more payment options. I'll see you there. Great job today and keep coding.